What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon opening. So, uh, yesterday our Quaza boxes, or no, the premium boxes came in, but they were broken. But we did manage to find one at a local Target. And this one, the figure is just fine. It was pretty sweet. Um, obviously, one of the advantages of going to a store is that you can actually look at the product before you buy it. And not only that, but the Target uh, coupon, the 25% off, was still valid. It actually ends today, so it was like perfect timing. So we managed to get it at 25% off. Uh, which is great because this is a super expensive product and uh, so we're kind of like a day late, but we finally get to open this So ultimately the obviously the Pokemon company was not successful in designing packaging that could keep this awesome figure safe and It is really sweet um, but I will give them credit for trying they actually have these things which have like these four uh, tabs or not tabs I don't know what the punch things to basically try to like strap it down uh, and again ultimately they were unsuccessful but uh, you know it wasn't as wasn't a terrible attempt um, even though it didn't work and this product also does come with a playmat it's kind of like the generic hidden fates kind of like a uh, background which is you know the playmats are always nice to have um, but I feel like their playmats are always a little bit underwhelming, especially when it comes to, I don't know, like Pokemon Center uh, playmats from like Japan or like custom made playmats. Uh, I think are just a little bit better. But uh, hey, I do like it. Uh, we'll take it. And overall, I think there's a pretty good box, especially if you can get it at some kind of discount. Like for example, that Target 25% off uh, coupon. And yeah, it does come with that the 15 packs, which is quite a bit. And uh, uh, some really nice promo. So let's see if we can get some great pulls to go along with it. All right, so this figure is huge. I wasn't sure how to get it in the frame. So I think we got the right angle. And as far as the promos, wow, these are really good. And oh my gosh, this is even the Turbo Strike. Um, Turbo Strike uh, Sogaleo. So now there's an easy, or not easy way, not a cheap way, but there's a, <laughs> access to the cards. And the Turbo Strike is really good for Mewtwo. Probably one of the best uh, things for Mewtwo ex with uh, that in the Charizard. Uh, but does 120 damage for two energy, so you just need a welder. Attach two basic energies from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Absolutely insane. The Lunala is not quite as good, <laughs> but uh, as far as the gold card, I, these gold cards I really like how it just has like just a shading. And then the shiny Rayquaza. This card looks amazing to go with this great figure. And I love this slot thing where you can basically put a card to display. So we'll leave that right there for the opening even though lighting's not perfect and let's get into our 15 packs of hidden fates so the final product to be released for hidden fates and it's a doozy although so is the price so hopefully we get some good cards to go that's annoying hopefully that stops real soon <laughs> otherwise we'll have to stop the recording for a little bit we have all right <laughs> misty nurse joy in case you didn't know i do live on a kind of like a busy street so occasionally there's traffic in the background voltorb pikachu ekans whoa first pack and we got the rainbow birds all right this is starting oh, wow a very good double hitter we got a shiny rowlet to go with rainbow birds uh that is that is an amazing start to our opening two hits right off the bat as always, we're going for that 50% hit rate, so we want to get uh, 8 plus good cards, and we're already 25% of the way there. One thing that was, I thought there was going to be like a box or something, some kind of like storage box for this product, but uh, so it does have the playmat, the three promos, and this uh, really nice figure. So I haven't heard back from the vendor, which I got the broken ones. Um, I'm wondering what they're going to do to resolve it. Uh, I imagine they're just going to ask us to return it. I wonder if they could just like, hey, we just send you a figure um, to compensate. Maybe that's not the worst idea. However, with the this thing was basically on top of the packs in the packaging. So that might not be the best solution either. But uh, we'll definitely see and I'll keep you guys up to date. And for pack number two, we have a Jinx, Misty, Brock's Gym, Staryu, Slowpoke, a Voltorb, Pikachu, Ekans, Electrode is our rare, 
And then, oh, shiny Zergatry. Very nice. All right, that's three hits already out of two packs. All right, I forgot to turn on one of the lights uh, for our setup where we do our pack openings. We used to have a lamp to provide the lighting and then, oh my. All right, guys, see that on the side? <laughs> I have a very good feeling about this this pack and uh, yeah, this is a pretty good product. But oh yeah, my lamp broke. <laughs> All right, we have a Graveler, Farfetch'd, Brock's Grit, Psyduck, Charmander, Magic Carp, Slowpoke, Clefairy, a Starmie GX, but boom! <laughs> oh my gosh, we got another shiny Charizard. Let's take a look at this. Um, centering is not great. I feel like there's quite a bit extra in this top right corner. Actually, it's not even off center. It's kind of like rotated in a way, so very not so great centering but oh my gosh can't believe we pulled another one out of this so this product was definitely worth it um, it's about as good as it gets and we already have five hits out of three packs and we got another shiny Zard unbelievable actually I should be grabbing a penny sleeve actually this one probably won't be sent to PSA so maybe it's okay as it definitely wouldn't I don't think it would get to 10 with that uh, with that centering so probably just put him in this guy right now but uh Char sorry rayquaza you have been reg uh pushed to the back row and uh ooh, that's a that'll make for a nice thumbnail i think and sure starmie you deserve a sleeve as well but oh my gosh i can't believe we just got that um yeah guys i give this product two thumbs up <laughs> it's quite pricey but it can wield pretty good results best of luck to everyone that does pick up this product never know although obviously sometimes you can get pretty not so good pulls as well like we did not too long ago but uh <laughs> let's keep moving um we can't really top that i feel like we already exceeded all my expectations uh, yeah, great product. If you can find it intact, um, yeah, pretty good. Clee Fairy is our reverse with Ergus Hospitality Rare. Um, yeah, I'm really happy. Like, that Solgaleo is such a good card, such a good figure, and we pulled another shiny Charizard. Oh, man, I can't believe that. I'm lost for words. We have Magmar, Charmeleon, Jinx, Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris, Butterfree is our rare, and then Brock's Grit. Alright, let's keep going. Do me a favor though, hit that like button down below. Um, yeah, but we are killing it right now. And uh, yeah, finally got over that, that rough phase of our pulls with Hidden Fates, but... Uh, Kind of like, you know, highs and lows come and go. And uh, yeah, obviously we're on a high right now. We have Brock's Gym, Chansey, Magikarp, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Coughing, a Voltorb, and then a Golem, followed by Erica's Hospitality. So things have cooled off, but I don't care. <laughs> we already got the pull of the set. I think that card uh, from our last market video. It was at about $250. So, uh, yeah, this, <laughs> this box was definitely worth it. Graveler, Cubone, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Staryu, Ekans, Cleef Fable, and a Type Null. Hmm, I can't remember if uh, what set this is from. Oh, the card is kind of like textured. Uh, I'm not sure if I can show it on camera or get the right angle to kind of show it, but uh, yeah, it almost has like as much texturing on the, the actual card other than the picture. Interesting. But I wonder if that could use this in my deck with that I run. So Valley GX. Can't remember what set that is. That might be a rotated set, unfortunately, but that'd be pretty cool to swag the deck and. Like Savali under no or type null under 
very unlikely to ever attack, so it's fine. You know, regardless of what abilities and stuff it has, it's never going to do anything but evolve. But, alright, let's keep going. We got a Scyther, Metapod, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, a Cleave Fairy, Chessie, and James. Very annoying card in a lot of decks. Uh, that kind of want to just get rid of your hand. Although I feel like a lot of people are using that new one. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't discard your hand, but I've been facing some Pidgeotto control decks. If you watch any of the streams, anytime we see a Pidgey, uh, I get very uneasy. Some of those decks are just really strong and so annoying to face. And it seemed like now they use LT Surge into multiple Bellabas, Bellaba Brysons, to basically mill your deck while just keeping you limited what you can do because um, yeah you can like maybe one shot them but they'll use stuff like Enhance Hammer and Oranguru to basically keep you from doing much oh, oh okay there you go you can kind of see in the light that the bottom of the card is almost like textured so I feel like there's mul definitely multiple print runs um, like the sparkles let's seem less enunciated see even this one yeah and then the charizard is like way off center compared to you know that there's no way that this print run is probably yielding many um, pristine tens like the initial one but and now those the regular shinies feel textured like uh if you've opened one of these products and you pulled a regular shiny kind of feel the the bottom of the card like yeah this is very smooth but that one there's definitely some texture there so if you find that you have the same thing, let me know in a comment down below. I'm very curious about if you can kind of take that information to figure out, you know, how many print runs there were. Alright, let's see. Geodude, Cubone, Eevee, Clefairy, a Psyduck, and we got the Legendary Birds and an Extra Bird Zapdos. So for a regular art, this one is pretty good. Um, I say this all the time, but my favorite one is the full art. The rainbow is max rarity, but that one doesn't look quite as nice. And the base rarity is pretty good as well. Actually, the stained glass one, the promo one, is probably my favorite by far. Alright, so we already have... I think we already hit our quota as well. We still have four more packs. We got the jackpot that is the shiny Charizard. Ah, oh, that looks good. Voltorb, Cubone, Lapras, and Chansey. And I don't really have like any kind of large size figurines. Like ones if you go into a store like, uh, you know, like anime statues and stuff like that. But this is probably like the closest thing I have to one. And that is sweet. Shiny Rayquaza. Although, imagine if they made a Charizard one. Like, that that's a great choice. Um, but Shiny Charizard would go even better. Alright, we have another Zapdos. Followed by Shiny Pheromosa. Oh my gosh, so many hits. Alright, just double checked. We're already at 9 hits. Three packs remaining still. Probably our... This might be our most successful opening. And after a very disappointing day, that was yesterday when, you know, we got the two broken ones. Ah, oh, what a what a, what a good rebound. Alright, Metapod, Caterpie, Paris, Psyduck, Charmander, a Magikarp. Electrode, oh my gosh, and shiny Ho-Oh. Uh, this is, I think, one of the better shinies. The Ho-Oh, actually, I guess the color doesn't change that much, but the way they did this art, uh, the colors really pop. In fact, if um, if I quickly looked and someone said that this was just a full art and the shading was just a little bit off, I feel like I would probably believe them. Uh, that I think the sparkles is the only thing that, oh, that's clearly it's a shiny Pokemon, but I do really like this card, not a very good card but a great piece of artwork shiny ho-oh and that i think that brings us to 10 hits in this box so we're going like 60 percent plus the shiny charizard plus two packs remaining yep 
Yeah, definitely our best opening in Hidden Fates. Actually, that would be tough to beat the... Uh, man, we got the extra Ultra Ball collection boxes for basically for free by some kind of mistake. And uh, we pulled another Shine Charizard. Our second Starmie GX. So, not a great hit, but we will take it. And, uh, alright, last pack remaining. We will do a recap at the end. Because we have so many cards to show off for this box. Alright, not that we need anything else. Water Energy. Lieutenant Surge. Very annoying. I feel like anytime you face Lieutenant Surge, you know you're in for a rocky ride. And it's probably going to be something... He's usually trying to pull some kind of shenanigans. Butterfree and our last pack is a Reverse Energy. We will take it. So, to recap this amazing box... We have a shiny Rayquaza, that looks great, a Lunala GX gold card, you know the new uh, Max Radies that kind of came with the Tag All-Stars, they look great, but I, I prefer when they kind of just use one color for the shading, or I guess there's two different Pokemon, uh, but I really like how they do these. And then for our hits, we have a Reverse Energy, I think we actually have two Starmies, that's the first one, shiny Ho-Oh, shiny Rowlet. Zergatry, another Starmie, uh, Rainbow Birds, Type Null, Orangaroo, another Birds, and then a Pheromosa, and then, yeah, pretty good card right there. So, as always guys, thanks for watching, oh my gosh, what an amazing, amazing box. I have to start using a different adjective, um, but as always guys, thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, all down below, I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.